Okay. Uh, welcome back, guys. This is part two now. If you've missed part one, click back on the little arrow thing. You'll be able to watch that right now. But this is part two, so we're doing Palace, Everton, Hull, and Leicester. Breaking news this morning that when filming, Tony Pulis has left his post two days before the season starts at Crystal Palace. Straight away, guys, what do you make of that? Bad, bad loss. It's horrific. Yeah. Here's, 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 the reason, horrific. here's the reason why they stayed up. Yeah. And put chill. Yeah, and punch you. And JJ <laughs> could <Kuchin. laughs> Except that one penalty he took, which yeah, it was the worst penalty. Saw ever. the ball bouncing somewhere near here. Yeah, <laughs> a few days back. Ah, uh, Lorenz. Oh, it's great news for Arsenal's opening day of the season. Yeah, that's Crystal Palace. Uh, Is it at home as well? Uh, yeah, oh. at the Emirates. Yeah. Um, why did he leave? Uh, from what I've heard, in it's literally only happened three or four hours ago. It was broken promises between him and Steve Parrish, the chairman, that he that only signed Martin Kelly was signing today. Um, that transfer had gone through. Who else did they sign? Um, yeah, all broken promises. Uh, they signed Brett Hangeland. Uh, Brett Hangeland on a free. Fraser Campbell from Cardiff, who's not really an exciting so, signing. To be fair, they're still not... I mean, he's he's really good good Chris Kettings from free from Blackpool. But they're not bad signing. Oh, they're, they're, Fraser but, Campbell and Kelly. But for a team that finished, what, 12th oh, last year? 11th? Yeah. Like, they but should what, be going for a bit more ambition. From what yeah, I read this morning, this is on Mirror or whatever. Oh, Tony yeah, Pillis. Yeah, well, it's the, the only thing yeah. that had an article out this morning because it only just happened because everyone was asleep over there. Because the article was probably not factual. Yeah. Well, it was the only one that was up. Yeah. So was he asleep. sacked? Was no, it no, only he the mirror reporting? No, no, no he, he, he wasn't sacked. He wasn't sacked, he walked. Oh, walked, yeah. So, so, sorry, sorry. So, Silly um, season. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, because of the fact that no signings and there wasn't enough money and that they were going to make the signings in the next week or two. So it seems a bit odd that you yeah. do but all that work, all that fantastic work, work, and then just and then just drop. I think in the end you know he I mean? said he yeah. wanted this stuff to happen. He wanted this to back him, and the guy wasn't happy to back him. To be honest, though, he's probably left the club with at uh, the best he could. Yeah. He, he brought them yeah. up. He hasn't he messed anything up. Year. He saved them. A few clubs will be interested. Yeah. I think he gets results. I, it, I won't it, say he plays exciting football, no. but. It could be the lifeline they need, having gotten that stability from Pulis and now being able to say, all right, thanks a lot. Now we're going to play, you know, a different, di yeah. a, go down a different direction. Maybe even hire like a South American manager or something and just completely change it up. You know? um, well, the favourite that, is that's a, that's Malky Mackay, who was at Carlton. Yeah, yeah. I read that. Yeah. yeah. Um, or David Moyes is a... Oh, the oh. United <laughs> legend. He's yeah. back. He's at back. Powers, so, um, <laughs> Apparently the, he's got an office from... It. Everyone, yeah. so uh, we, we'll see. We'll see uh, who takes over Bayern Munich next. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but now, uh, I think I think that'll be interesting. I'd love to see Moyes back there, but if he beats United with Crystal Palace, you'll probably neck yourself. I yeah. might. I might kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, no, guys. Palace. Where do we see them finishing now with this turmoil? I had them up in my top. Yeah, yeah I, I had, had the top region them twelve, and yeah. now I've got them relegated because I think the only reason they're up, obviously. Was because of Tony Pulis. Yeah, I think I think Tony Pulis. Uh, he loves his philosophies. Yeah. Um. Not not in the same way us and Wenger or mm. Rogers like theirs. Uh, he loves just defence, and I think there's not going to be that. Uh, there's not going to be some pedantic uh, who's going to be looking after that thing. Because when Crystal Palace were losing games, they were conceding goal after goal after mm. goal, and then Pulis came and they became rocks. So yeah. yeah. Look, it's it's very hard to see them doing well. Yeah. I mean, from the point of view that they've lost, you know, just that key, yeah, which was Tony Pulis. Uh, you know, I feel like it's just really going to throw a spanner in the works there now, and you know, you might get some of the bigger personalities in, considering, you know, changing clubs, you know, maybe in January yeah. if if the start isn't bright. So, I've you know, I've got them relegated. Um, could you guys see Miller yet today? Handing the transfer request and heading somewhere else now. It's in terms of he's good enough to be captain. No, not not so. just yet. He wouldn't be, he would be the probably. first captain to leave the club, but you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. you <laughs> Lower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably gonna. No, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I reckon yeah, give him maybe up to January, and if they're not doing well, he deserves to stay in the Premier League because he's good enough. He, and look, whether they are relegated or not, he'll be there next season. Yeah. Someone will pick him up, or he'll be elsewhere. But uh, yeah, um, it's hard to see them staying up, and in particular having a good season. Yeah. Are we all done on Crystal Palace then, lads? I look forward to seeing their exciting brand of football. <laughs> oh, that 3-3 uh, three, three last season was pretty exciting. I don't know if you guys remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ran over three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Jason moving Chris right on. Uh, moving right on. Straight on to Everton now, guys. They've made a couple of. Let's a bit of shrewd business in the transfer window. Yeah, Barry back. Yeah, yeah, they've spent over twenty million. Yeah, yeah spent over twenty. And million. they bought Lukaku for twenty eight million straight away. Yes or no, Ellis? You have to say yes or no. Don't say anything. We else. Want to know. Either yes that. or no. Is Lukaku worth the twenty eight million that Everton spent? Is he worth twenty eight million to Everton? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, yes, yes. I think it's worth twenty eight million. Yes, for Everton. For Everton, yeah. I think, yes, for anyone else but Everton, just because I think they're better off spending that money elsewhere. Um, Although like he's got he's got a lot to prove, oh, because good, his yeah. World Cup was quite poor. Cool. Yeah. I mean, that was Ori. Ori, yeah. the yeah. guy Liverpool that Liverpool signed, yeah. was starting above. Oh, is he a Liverpool player now? Yeah. But he's oh, so he's yeah. another striker. He's on no, a loan back. But he's on a loan back deal. Oh, right. Can yeah. you call him back, or no, is it one of those? I hate those. Yeah, yeah. yeah in football manager always get the call back. Yeah. <laughs> it happened with Zaha. Yeah. He hasn't really been that good. He was the worst. That's the worst player in the age. I'm not just seem to have him as my best young player last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think though Lukaku is a very good footballer and I rate him quite highly but I think 28 million for a team that's struggled to ever buy players for yeah um, oh, I guess they're would, showing intent that they they, want well, they they bought hey, in the past they bought McCarthy was 15 million yeah. uh, Fellaini was 15 million yeah. um, they buy they, they spend in that region but 28 million mm. I think it had to be done yeah. Ken Wright would have been very unpopular yeah. had he not signed Lukaku when Lukaku obviously wanted to stay at Everton. But he, he wanted Champions League football. He'll probably never get it at Everton. But um, Who does he think he is? Yeah. He's like some unknown like, West End like, playwright yeah. who thinks he can just buy he's Champions the, He's the poorest owner in the Premier League. Yeah. Yeah. You, look, you've got to credit him. Um, heard... His passion. He's passionate yeah. about the club and yeah. that's not... I mean... That, yeah, you don't see that a lot these days. You got Liverpool's owner who was yeah. always there, you know, oh, yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Man United's owners who have never been at a game. Yeah. Yeah. They, they've never, yeah. they don't, they probably don't even know what sport we play. Yeah. But yeah. to see an owner taking an interest in the yeah. club. Um, now, guys, how, uh, how are we just, I just wanted to say about yeah. Everton. I was there That's recently uh, in the Merseyside region and I have to say there is a definite glow yeah. coming out of that club that I've never experienced in my life. Um, you know, I saw more Everton shirts and Liverpool shirts in the city of Liverpool. So, you know, what the hell does that say about, you know, a small little yeah. Everton who are who have always been an outsider, but now they've just there's this air of flow which seems to suggest that you know, they're a top four competitor. That's a bit like Man United, Man City though. There'd yeah. be more Man City shirts at Manchester than Man United. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, you know. You know. <laughs> Good yeah. comeback, guys. Um, <laughs> how, <laughs> how high A neutral you outsider who's a tourist. How are you a neutral outsider? You support Liverpool? Well, yeah, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not from Liverpool. So we I would obviously... We're in a Crystal Palace top. I would obviously... Ella's undercover. Yeah. <laughs> I would obviously expect to go there and see more Liverpool shirts. Anyway. Um, how high do you reckon they can... Like, how high can they aim for? Can they aim for Champions League this season? Well, they... They yeah, should have... They should have got it last year. <coughs> in my opinion. I they think... Sh they should have got it. I think Lukaku will uh, be better under this season, a bit older, a bit wiser, um, but I think they don't have a squad for Especially it come, come mid-season. Injuries, if yeah. they get injuries. Then. Will we see, will we see yeah. Everton trail off again like they did last season? Who was it where they, because I'm pretty sure they had a game in hand against you guys. They'd been us 3-0, yeah. and at that stage it looked like... Oh yeah, and you right. guys lost to... Liverpool, but for like a few games before, I yeah. did that like five one. Or something. We, we lost a few. Yeah. 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 But but what was that equation? Because Everton just looked so assured. It was a strong. No, no, they were a game. Oh, they were a game ahead. We right? we came home very strong though. We won yeah. most of that game. Yeah. Like like Arsenal do. Yeah. I remember that. Was yeah. it the season before when RVP just? Uh, yeah. Or no? So there was one season where Arsenal were looking bad, and then RVP yeah. switched it on for the end of the season. Classic Arsenal. <laughs> Um, I think they'll be, I think they'll get a it's harder now because Tottenham will pro, will be better. Yeah. Man United will be hopefully will be better. Um, so they've got two teams who are not very good. Yeah. Mm. Last year, yeah. Not very good last year. So there's going to be a lot more competition. It'll be hard for them. Does yeah. Does Martinez have the nerve and do they have the depth? That's a question yeah. that will be answered this season. 
Well, they've got in Atsu from Chelsea on loan. It's like a good signing. And that Besic guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so they've got a couple of guys Did you guys see that? Yeah, that piece of skill. Touch, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> His first touch, the, yeah. the, uh, they're making an extrapolation yeah. that his first touch means player of the season. Yeah. But, uh, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, what's, that? what's extrapolation? Too <laughs> early in the morning. Yeah. Um, okay, guys, that's that Everton talk well done. It's got plenty. Um, now we're on to Hull now, lads. Oh. Sounds like someone's in the door. Uh, can Steve Bruce. Bruce Prove he's a top manager this season after last year, going hold to a top ten finish. I think uh, I've always liked him. He's yeah. a Man United uh, ex player, so uh, boring in interviews. But I think his style is a bit like Pulis, but yeah, he's. I think it'll be alright. Yeah. He just needs more players. Yeah. Yeah, they've signed lots of English players. Yeah, they've got to a different way. All of English. English. Yeah. And we all know that's not really what you. What well, you do these days? Do they still have? They still have Yelovich, yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, they so. picked up Jake Livermore for eight million from Spurs. Robert Snodgrass for seven million from Snodgrass. Yeah. Snodgrass. Or as hard as sleep for dogs. No, no, Snodgrass. Uh, Tom Ince from Blackpool for a tribunal because he came on a free, but they have to still pay him. Pay, pay Blackpool. Sorry, Harry Maguire, who's a good young centre back from Sheffield United, and Andrew Robinson, who I think no one's ever heard of before, but he's come from Dundee United for two point eight five million. That's a quite a good yeah, that's, fee for, that's for, Scot- for Scotland. Yeah. Like, given that Celtic players are yeah. being signed for like a one million. I, well, the, all the players they've really signed, that's all right. I think, like, well, they had Livermore last season anyway. Inters of Inters. They were all a little expensive, I'd I think. I've been overpriced because they're overpriced. English. But yeah. Well, Tom Ince was. Now, guys, Tom Ince went to Inter and had a. Like, they nearly agreed terms there. Would you rather play for Inter or Hull? Depends if you want to leave England. I think a lot of people have been saying that he probably was the best idea was to leave England to sort of get out of because no top team was after him. Maybe go out to yeah Inter or something, try and find a bit of different. Who knows? Niche, but he he may be picked up next yeah. season if he plays well. Yeah, half city. Just, just on Steve yeah. Bruce, whether that guy does well or not, and he actually did do well last season. He looks pregnant. Well, I, don't, I don't know what it is about him, but. It's no, it's just not. It, it's it's like Mr. Potato. Yeah, like yeah. he used to. He used to be like well in shape, but now he just looks pregnant. Like yeah. what? What on earth has gone on there? And he's got a weird nose. Yeah, yeah. it looks. Yeah. It's yeah. like it's been broken. So and it's just so time. reserved. Like get some life into yeah. you, yeah. man. Like um, I think it, I love him it, before derby games. Yeah. Was, it, was he the one involved in the clash with Pardew? I think it was him. I think the headbutt. Yeah, Pardew's well, been was, involved. Yeah. Pardew's been involved in a few clashes yeah, yeah. in his um, time. Yeah. Now, guys, they only finished with 37 points last year, though. Um, everyone says 38 is normally enough to think Last year was a pretty poor season for the lower teams. Do you think 37 is enough again to survive? No. You're still going to be uh, uh, looking nervously over yeah. your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. It was because of the FA Cup, because yeah. they got all the way to the final. That's yeah. why I think they just lost their run towards yeah. the end. Yeah, and it's not a... Yeah. Except they have a problem this season, the Europa League. Yeah. Oh, your yeah, yeah, yeah. your Your athlete kills it. Uh, that oh, can that kill t- Was it Swansea? Yeah. Who you last yeah. had it? Yeah. You it's don't a, need it. It's, I reckon there should be an option for clubs not to go into Europe. Yeah. But not, no one would want it. Yeah, yeah, true. They should just get yeah, it. It's more of a financial strain on the clubs because you've got to go out to like Eastern Switzerland and yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's you, just, you guys were really fortunate to miss out. Yeah, I was, I think it's cross. Yeah, yeah. Was it, who was it? Somebody got a, somebody got a win or somebody beat someone else. I think I'm, that meant like we didn't finish in yeah, Europa yeah. League. Um, I can't you're lucky. Either. You're really yeah. lucky. That's yeah. what that's we what don't have our squad. Up. Yeah, we don't have the squad for Europa. Yeah. Um, I hope we just well, get. If you back. guys don't, I'll definitely yeah, don't. No, yeah. <laughs> but hopefully, then they just get out, get out of it. But guys, where will they find their goals? Also, now that Shane Long has left for Sunderland for twelve million, like where they've got Yelovich, but obviously they're probably going to reinvest it in the squad, but. Where will they find their goals? No, two words. The yeah. like yelling at he, he will score the goals. Well, they'll obviously have to uh, pursue certain yeah. avenues. You know, Shane Long type players. Yeah. But, you know, where are you going to find a lot of them these days? 
They're probably going to go out to Europe now or something. Yeah, but yeah. Well, they have probably. the English players, so they can bring in a foreign yeah. player. Yeah. There'll be some uh, some scouts they getting, need to, like, getting some nice paychecks. Get at to home. their scout and get like. Well, the fact that they got twelve million for him and only paid seven for him six months ago, so in the end, that's a good bit of business. Yeah. Mm. A few loan signings probably couldn't. Probably yeah. wouldn't. Yeah, they should do it. Should I, do a bit of a. Do you think they they could they could always get a player who's not unbelievable, like someone that. So maybe a Zaha or yeah. something like that because yeah. United will loan him out. Yeah. That, that he's not going to be, oh, he's not going to be unbelievable. But I guess he. What about Lingard? The goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, Bible. <laughs> Jesse. Oh, and, and oh, Lingard. Point, Jesse oh. Lingard last year. Oh, well, if Jesse he plays a couple of games, yeah, he'll be a superstar. <laughs> well, you know. He didn't know. He he scored, he scored that no, crack against the All Stars. Uh, yeah, no, and he scored a crack this preseason yeah. as well. Did he? So is it? Well, Jesse well, Lingard. Baby step. And then just yeah. Yeah, I thought you meant Lingard. I'm yeah. like, what the goalkeeper? Well, I He's clearly like, said Lingard. No, I didn't. What do you think about? No, guys, it's just a point on loan signing. Do you think a lot of these lower Premier League teams don't use the loan signing enough, like going to Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal and stuff, going for their younger players to give them sort of first-team football? It doesn't well, cost you anything. Yeah, well, whatever, I'm on football manager. That's I what I loan, do. Yeah. Loan signings first, bring in the young players. Yeah. I think, I th- who did it? Did Wigan used to do it under Martin? Yeah, because, oh no, our Bolton used to always do it. They bring in Sturridge and Wilshire. Wilshire yeah. Yeah. And Nelton. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But, um, well, even Sunderland got Brainy in last year and scored 10 goals or something. So, yeah. it, there's business there to find those top six, seven, eight yeah. clubs to find Wigan guys who are playing. Wigan brought in cleverly a few seasons back yeah. when he was all right. I don't know anymore. <laughs> well, Hull exactly brought in Livermore and, um, yeah. who's the other top guy they got? Uh, Hudson. 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 He's, yeah. very, he's yeah. very good. So, yeah. He yeah. wasn't on loan though, was he? was he? I don't know. They bought him. Yeah. yeah. His, I think yeah. Hull, I yeah. think uh, Hardison was good for that. Yeah, he was. Um, He'll always be mid table. Shaved his hair as well. Yeah, or, after he scored. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, guys, moving on to Leicester City, everyone's uh, favourite fifth team. We all know a lot the about Foxes. Them. Yeah, the Foxes. <laughs> Uh, Nigel Pearson's team, we've got a lot of stats here about them. Why you just team. Googled that before? Yeah, because <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, now, who the hell is Alua? He scored 23 goals in 50 games for Brighton, Hope, Albion in the Championship. He cost them £8 million. Pounds. Interesting signing, never played in the Premier League. Yeah, look, it's, it, it is a strange one for me. Yeah. Um, but, hey, 23 goals. Could not, could not be good. It could be, but it could be another one of those scenarios. And you remember? Does anyone remember Evans Blake? The uh, Woolworth. This, yeah, oh, the, yeah. The strike. Uh, he no, he, he had a, like an unbelievable championship and then scored nothing in the Premier League. So yeah. and now plays in League One. Yeah. yeah so so you never know. Well, he, I he used to follow player. Leicester when they had a Darius Vassell, um, yeah. the the old Man City player. No one right. no one knows of him. Oh no, oh, Darius Vassell. Yeah. Uh, Darius, yeah, and uh, he was in that that ridiculous city team with the likes of Benji, yeah, and uh, yeah, oh, Joe, yeah, Joe, Joe. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, no, I think uh, look, it'll be interesting, exciting. I want to see how it goes. Um, now they've brought in also Michael Brighton on a free transfer from Aston Villa, Jack Barley on a free transfer from Man United, and also. Lewis Rowley on a free transfer from Manchester United. <laughs> ben Hamer, a free transfer from Charlton. They're putting fear into the likes of the Premier League team. They are. And also, ex-England centre-back. Do we all remember this guy, Matthew Upson, on a free transfer Matthew to start Upson. centre-back? Wow. I remember <laughs> having him in my... Don't forget about about Old Brighton. Brighton. Yeah. yeah. So I remember yeah. having Upson in my fantasy team yeah. four years ago. Yeah. Five years ago, even. Um, so... To be honest with you, those transfers don't really strike fear into any Slash style. ring a bell? Yeah. yeah. At all. Those, now, Lucas, as a Manchester United fan, yes. who is Jack Barmy and who is Lewis Browley? Well, I was disappointed to see them go. <laughs> um, they were my favourite players. Um, <laughs> look, I, I have seen the name come up on a, the yeah, Man United you think, youth thing. Like, yeah. Uh, ever since we let go of Pogba from the youth center, but you probably haven't, have you? Yeah. Oh, it's on, no, it's on the website. Yeah. It's like Jack. It's like Jack Barley scores a yeah. scores a goal in like the or oh, what is FA it? Cup that, youth, the, yeah. yeah, the FA Cup youth thing in like round five. Well, like the like, North, okay, North East yeah. Reserves Division. But look, I, I more upsetting things have happened to me as a United supporter um, than seeing those two go. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, finally, guys. Do we all remember David Nugent? Yes. Uh, he scored 20 goals in the pre- uh, the championship last year. He's going to be starting up front. 
Can he cut it in the Premier League? Can he well, cut it in can, for England? Yeah, can he, he says he wants to England, yeah. make a return to the English English squad. Okay, mate. Well, yeah. to be <laughs> honest, that, to be that honest, not gonna happen. To be honest, if they've got Roy Hodgson as coach. Anything, no, anything could happen. Any, any dream. That wasn't the only thing for me to say. We can still push it. We can still yeah. make it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I do why. Yeah. yeah. Anything's possible. Can I cut it in a Premier League? Well, yeah. You never know. He could be a yeah. Ricky Lambert. Yeah. No, he could be Ricky Lambert. But in the end, I don't see Leicester okay, getting right. out of this yeah. now. Just because of the signings they've made. Yeah. They'll make a couple of signings in the next yeah. couple I of think weeks. Leicester will be the Whip Boys. Yeah. Of the Premier League. Oh, they did um, top the championship quite easily yeah. last year, so they've kept they've kept all their top players from yeah. last year. The Brandon Hancocks, if um, you will. They, yeah. At <laughs> least some of their centre backs. Well, yeah, they've got decent. Rid of, yeah, they've got rid of no. Don't one know who's, their names. <laughs> yeah. They've got yeah, they've got rid of no one who's a big name really. So that's. No one. All right. Or not like names that straight. I've never heard of this guy. Oh, yeah. Except <laughs> Sean no and Ledger. Um, but it's guys, no that's one. the end of part two of our EPL preview. Crystal Palace, Everton, Hull and Leicester. Please join us for the next part that is the massive talk of Liverpool, Manchester United, Man City and Newcastle. Oh, All things get very yeah, interesting. Yeah, very interesting. So, Watch Schmitty. Uh, <laughs> come back in a second and check that one out. See you in a sec. Office.